I'm going to show you how to connect an Xbox controller to a Windows 10 or 11 PC using either a USB cord or through a wireless connection. And if it doesn't work, I'll go over some troubleshooting tips. Important, if you previously used your controller on your Xbox, make sure that Xbox is off and unplug it from the wall. Not doing so can cause difficulties in getting the controller established on the PC. Also, make sure you have updated your PC to have the latest Windows update. This will make certain that you have the latest drivers for your device. The first way to connect your controller to a PC is by using a USB cord. This also means you need to keep the cord attached as you play. The benefits of doing it this way is that you can play without batteries, which lowers the weight of the controller, and there's slightly less lag than using a Bluetooth connection. First, use the Windows search bar and search on the word Bluetooth, even though this method does not involve Bluetooth. You don't have to do this part, but it's very useful to have it open. Look for the Bluetooth and other other devices settings menu and click on it. Next, connect your controller using the USB cord. The controller does not have to be on. If it was successful in connecting, you should see it appear in the other devices section. At first, it may appear as an unknown device, but it'll change to say controller eventually, hopefully. Even if it already says controller, it may still be thinking, so just give it some time. And make sure you're connected to the internet, because it may be trying to download a driver. If after a long wait, it keeps saying unknown device, or if nothing appears at all, jump to the troubleshooting section of this video using this timestamp. If it was successful, you should be able to use the analog stick to move the menu selection around. Every once in a while, it does not let me do this, but the controller will still work when I go to boot up a game. If it isn't working in a game, head to the troubleshooting section. Once you're done playing, disconnect the cord. If you still have batteries inside, the Xbox button will flash. You can turn it off by holding it down until it stops. To connect your controller via Bluetooth to the PC, first check to make sure your controller actually has Bluetooth capability. Early variations do not. The ones that do not have a separate plate around the Xbox button, which is always black. The ones that do support Bluetooth have one single plate for the whole top of the controller. As mentioned earlier, if you previously used the controller on an Xbox in your home, you need to unplug that Xbox from the wall. Then use the Windows search bar and search on the word Bluetooth and find the Bluetooth and other devices settings menu and click on it. Make sure the Bluetooth switch is in the on position and then click add device. Then click on Bluetooth. On Windows 10, it's called add Bluetooth or other device. On the controller, press the Xbox button. It'll start a slow paced flash. Then hold the sync button down that's at the top of the controller for a few seconds. The light will begin to blink faster. On the screen, your controller should appear on the list. Single click it with the mouse and it'll set itself up and then click done. You should now see the controller on the screen with a battery life indicator. You may need to give it a few minutes as it installs some drivers. If you have a problem, head to the troubleshooting section at this timestamp. If it did work and you're done playing, hold the Xbox button down until the light goes off. If you wanna play again later, you don't need to do this whole process again. Just press the Xbox button on the controller. If you're using the Xbox wireless adapter, plug the adapter into the PC, hit the sync button on it, then turn your controller on by pressing the Xbox button. The light on it will blink slowly. Then hold the sync button that's on top of the controller for a few seconds. The light will blink fast and you should be ready to go. If it did not work, stay here as we go through the troubleshooting part of the video. If you cannot get your controller to connect, try these things one at a time until it does. Run any updates that are due for your PC and then do a restart, even if there's no updates available. Restarts have been known to to solve many controller issues, so do not skip out on doing it. Update the firmware on your controller by downloading the Xbox Accessories app, then connecting the controller using a USB cord. Open the app. You may have to turn off some pop-up messages that appear, but it'll eventually show the controller on the screen, and you can click the three dots underneath it. And if there's an Update Now button, go ahead and click it. If it doesn't say Update Now, then your firmware is already up to date. Update the device driver by first searching your computer for Device Manager. Find your controller on the list. 
If you're using a USB cord, it should appear at the bottom under Xbox peripherals. Peripherals? I can't say that word. If you are attempting to use Bluetooth, it'll be in the Bluetooth section. Right click on it and click update driver. It'll give you the option to automatically search an update or it'll allow you to find the driver yourself. Choose one of those. Using the same device manager menu, you also have the option to uninstall device. Do that and try the installation process again. If you're using a USB cord and nothing is working, make sure it's all the way in on both ends. If it is, try a different cord. It may be faulty. Or you may have a charging only cord, which would not be usable for gameplay. It's also possible the USB port on your controller or computer is damaged. Try a different port on the PC. If the port on the controller is the issue, there may be nothing you can do, but you may wanna look inside the port to see if there's any debris in there, and if there is, just scrape it out. That's a long shot, though. If your issue hasn't been resolved, then describe it in a comment below. Me or someone else may be able to help you. That's it for this tutorial. If you have drift concerns about your Xbox controller, see the video link on the screen and I'll show you how to fix that. Take care everybody.